It's a quantum leap, a game changer. It's Q Fabric and it's here. Today on Juno's Connect, we're talking everything Q Fabric. We'll tell you all we know about Juniper's latest innovation, from how we made it to how it's going to revolutionize the way your data center operates. Hi, I'm Kara Suboy. Welcome to Junos Connect, your one-stop video source for all things Junos. Scalability, any-to-any -any connectivity, low latency, all things we like to hear when it comes to today's data centers. Joining me today is Driti Mandas Gupta to tell us about Q Fabric and how it changes the way data centers operate. Thanks so much for joining us, Didi. Thanks for having me, Kara. And if you can, please start by explaining what Q Fabric is. Sure. So Q Fabric is our solution to what is the ideal data center network. To build Q Fabric, we went back to the whiteboards. And what we came up with was a revolutionary design for the modern day data center. Okay. It is the one in Juniper's 321 data center strategy. Q Fabric allows massive scale of data centers, pooling all the resources that might be there in a data center, including servers and storage and any other network equipment um, in a single shared resource pool. At the same time, it offers a dramatic improvement in performance as well as management simplification. So tell me how the switch fits in the QFX 3500. How does that integrate with the fabric? So when we announced Q Fabric, we also announced a new family of switches, essentially the QFX. The QFX 3500 is our first product in the QFX series. And what it does is it allows the entry to the QFabric architecture. So think of this as the entry and exit point for the dark QFabric architecture. Specifically, the QFX 3500 is a line rate 10 gig, 40 gig switch. It comes in a very space optimized form factor. It's just one rack unit. And it's got line rate ports of 10 gig, and like I mentioned, 40 gigs to go connect to the Q Fabric architecture or to whatever else you might have in the data center. How is this going to integrate into the systems that customers already have? We are seeing success in all kinds of data centers. Great. If you look at data centers, there's basically of three types. Data centers that want fast, just performance. These would be typically the, um, the financial exchanges. Sure. Right? There's other kinds of data centers that want scale, like massive data centers. These would be a typical cloud service provider. And finally, there is the traditional IT enterprise data center. The QFX 3500 and the QFabric architecture is an ideal fit for any data center, for any cloud deployment. And that's what makes it so unique in the industry. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it, Didi. Thanks for having me. For more information on QFabric, you can download Pradeep Sindhu's white paper on the Juniper website. Don't go anywhere. Coming up next, meet the people behind the QFX 3500. Looking for answers to questions about Juniper products? Join JNet and tap into the collective knowledge of a global community. Find solutions from Juniper users, experts, and Juno certified engineers. Register for your free user account and join the conversation from your mobile or your computer. Go to the link on your screen to sign up now. Welcome back to Juno's Connect, your video source for Juno's news and technology. I'm Kara Zuboy. Behind every innovation, you'll find a group of dedicated people putting in a lot of effort and a lot of time. Let's meet the team behind QFabric and the QFX 3500 switch. My name is Cliff de Guzman. I'm the director of system test for the data center business unit in the fabric and switching group. My name is Suresh and I'm a senior test engineer here for the QFX fabric and testing various fiber channel futures. My name is Raj Zahu and I am a system test protocol manager. My name is John Cull. I'm one of the senior mechanical engineers working on the Q, Q series, Q fabric, and in particular the QFX 3500. So I'm responsible for the overall packaging of the products, how the whole product looks to the customer. My name is Dave Lima, and I was uh, responsible for the mechanical development of the Q fabric box, the box that the Q3500 connects to. Uh, my name is Anand Amandi. So the QFX 3500 is really my baby. I was a software manager responsible for delivering the product. 
People have been asking for more and more performance and less and less power for a long time. And this product actually gives people the opportunity to get exactly that. Yeah, this is going to really revolutionize the data center. So we really did this in, in 10 months. 10 months back, uh, we conceptualized the product right from the uh, product development phase uh, with all the marketing PLM folks, the software execution, uh, getting the product out to SysTest, and the SysTest did a fantastic job in beating up the product, and the, the tech pubs in documenting the product, the beta team, and now it's all locked and loaded, ready to go. We have cool features like cut-through switching, which goes to the latency, and the other cool feature is the ability of the QFX 3500 to fit seamlessly into the Q fabric down the line. Well, if I'm a customer, I could take a QFX 3500 right now, use it in my network, and then at a later time, I could make that QFX 3500 be part of a Q fabric as a node. Definitely, it's a game changer. I compare this as a working on a supercomputer when they build a supercomputer. I think the proud moment is going to be to see the FedEx box outside of this box. I think my proudest moment really is when we went to San Francisco and did the launch. Yeah, I've been working on networking equipment for several years now, and uh, this is the most fun I've had. Definitely the most exciting product I've worked on at Juniper, and that's 11 years of products. We are so proud of it. This is just the beginning. We're just hitting the customers. Uh, we're getting up to uh, cater to the customers, and then we got bigger products uplined ahead. So it's definitely an exciting journey. I think my proudest moment is going to be when I see satisfied customers. Is your networking solution keeping up with today's traffic levels and compute capacity? Well, stay tuned. It's Q Fabric to the rescue. If you're looking for information about Junos, go to Junos Central. There, we'll tell you about the latest webcasts. Plus, we'll have an archive of the ones we've already done. You're also going to find day one booklets. We have the books, information about the books, and the bios of all the authors. Just go to www.juniper.net slash Junos. You can even find all the Junos Connect videos. I'm just saying. Welcome back to Junos Connect. I'm Kara Suboy. Today's data centers are built with high performance, high density servers. Increasing compute and storage capacity creates the need for high performance networks. Today we have Masa Mir to talk to us about how the QFX 3500 addresses these challenges. Welcome, Masa. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. And let's start with you telling us what the QFX 3500 is all about. What can it do? QFX 3500 is a small form factor. 10 gigabit Ethernet, gigabit Ethernet, 40 gigabit, as well as fiber channel switch. One rack unit high that comes with 48 SFP plus ports and four QSFP plus ports. It offers you layer two switching, layer three switching, as well as IO convergence or FCOE switching or FCOE to FC gateway. And it runs Junos. On top of that, it is fine tuned and designed for data center deployment with very low power as well as front-to-back cooling, and high availability features such as dual power supplies and dual fan trays. Let's break all that down, and I want to hear first about the speed and the high performance. This thing sounds fast. It is. It is very high performance for all the protocols. You can run layer 2 protocol, layer 3 protocol, storage protocol at blazing fast. It's less than a microsecond for any of these traffic class. It's amazing. It's less than a microsecond for unicast traffic and same for multicast traffic. And you mentioned earlier the IO convergence. Tell me a little bit more about that. Sure, IO convergence is a new trend that's happening in our data centers today, mm -hmm. starting with converging your storage traffic and IP traffic into one network. Mm -hmm. It starts on the server. Now with converged IO on the servers, you can have one connection out of your server that, com that comes to your network. QFX 3500 takes that single connection that carries your IP traffic and storage traffic and natively takes out the storage traffic as native fiber channel connects it to existing SAN. It's a huge investment protection for the SAN network. On the same time, it is the first step for end-to-end -end convergence of the storage network and compute network. Another trend that we're seeing is the virtualization of data centers. How does this switch fit in with that? Great. Virtualization is happening in every data center today. Yes. Now we are seeing a single server running 30 workloads at 30 machines. As a result, on the network side, 
there's a new challenge that we have to go and address. Number of hosts, number of endpoints that we have to support is expanding. Mm -hmm. So we have to have the headroom to grow on the network. QFX 3500 is uniquely positioned to solve this unique problem. You can have a lot more hosts. In QFX 3500, you can support over 96,000 hosts in one switch. On the same time, there are some software components as well. Now you have a virtual switch, a physical switch. With QFX 3500, you can have a single pane of glass using our software capabilities such as Juno Space Virtual Control, where from a single pane of glass, you will be managing your physical network and virtual network. People love that simplification. That's great. Thank you so much, Masam. Thank you. For a deep dive into the QFX 3500, register for the April 19th live webcast presented by Didi, Masam, and some other Fabric team members. That is it for this episode. I'm Kara Suboy, and we'll see you next time right here on Juno's Connect.